and welcome to my messy room, which you thankfully cannot see. And I have just opened Reaper for the second time, actually, because I've been trying to set this up, because I learned something interesting. I learned that even though my controller, my uh, M-Audio key station isn't automatically mapped to Reaper, you can um, set that up yourself. And I actually found this by looking around, but I thought I might as well share it, because it'll help me remember it. <laughs> and then if I forget, I can go back and watch my own videos, like which I sometimes do, but don't tell me. Anyway, <laughs> so we have uh, Actions tab here inside of Reaper. And then, oops, Action. And then you click on Show Action List. And here are your shortcuts for different uh, things. Mouse wheel, doing MIDI, this, this action. So what what we're mainly interested in at this point is the filter section. So you click in there, and I will choose a transport because that's the area that I want. Now, um, already assigned. Mm, already assigned this one to something. So let's see. Um, so let's pick a function uh, like record and so we'll say uh, new actions oh not new actions um, how did I do this see I've forgotten already okay so you could start a recording that way but that's not what we're about so let's let's do this again as you can tell I'm very green uh, action list. Okay. Transport. Mm. Play and pause. Add. Okay. Now, you will push the special key, which in my case is the, the play button on the key station, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, override it. Okay, now we're going to choose record. Click add shortcuts. And then I'm, we're going to push the record button. All right. <clears throat> and I guess the stop button we will map to uh, oh, wait a minute. Cancel. So, let's see. Play. What does this one do? Well, let's map this one to the play button. Okay. And then, yeah. And then, pause. This is going to be really weird. We're going to map this one to stop. And okay. Okay. So now we can test this. Okay, not my best playing, but oh, stop. <laughs> now, okay, that's doing a pause. I don't want it to pause though, I want it to actually stop. So, rats. We need to figure out how to do this. I'm, I'm not gonna save those. those. <clears throat> Let us go back to our actions. <laughs> And once again, type in transport. Okay. Mm and this will be getting. So hopefully, because right now. Um, oh, come on, work. 
right now transport is doing just right now transport is only these buttons right here it's only doing uh, so, so stop is doing pause right now instead of play and that's not what we want so we'll need to come over and uh, Uh, pause. I'm going to overwrite this. And... Stop. Okay, so now let's see how well this works. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's give it a shot here. did it so that is what we want and uh, okay so that was rather <laughs> uh, roundabout had to go through a few different things but now that'll make it so that I don't have to come up to the computer and necessarily push uh, the buttons to make it work so if your controller doesn't automatically work at least inside of Reaper this is how you would get it to have transport controls and all that. So anyway, not a earth-shattering discovery, but something that's hopefully useful. It certainly was for me. And I haven't figured out how to get it to quit playing notes uh, like it does when I when I do this. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna need to fix that because it's doing pause instead of play. <sighs> well, let's try that again then, shall we? <laughs> Transport me to a place where okay. Uh, okay, so now Okay, so now they're doing what they're supposed to. Um, <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't know how to get it to quit playing notes in addition to doing that, but it's not that big of an issue. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not recording those notes, thankfully. Maybe just because this computer can't keep up. Uh, I did it on another computer where it was recording those, so I would. It was just a simple matter of going back and deleting those MIDI notes, uh, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But if I do find a way, I'll also share that. So that's just been uh, setting up transport controls inside of Reaper. Thank you once again for watching, and uh, catch you later.